Yo, hey, 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 what's the deal? What's the deal? What's the deal? Your boy LB, back with another one of them think things, mate. One time for the one time. You know what it is up over here, eh? Check it out, though. Check it out. Today, today, my nigga, I was like, fuck it. I seen this shit. I was like, oh, cuz, you know we running this shit, motherfucker. Cuz, um, if you ain't new to this shit, you true to the shit. You already know me. He's shy, long beach, nigga, to the death of me, you heard? But, um, you know what I'm saying? I've been out in a do so block for years. My nigga, I was out there when the shit was a murder capital, when the shit was thick. I'm talking heavy. I was out there before the Fly Boys came, came out, before Smack Team came out, before a lot of these motherfuckers came, came out. I know a lot of these niggas too, which is why I'm saying I don't dabble and dabble nor have a input on Stockton politics because not being from Stockton, I fuck with everybody in Stockton. But I also know a lot about a lot. You smell what I'm saying? So we got this shit. EBK versus Flyboy. Stockton. Shit, what they talking about? Guys. What's up, gang? Hey, so, you know, we here to discuss this beef. Um, it's crazy because these two, you know, rival gangs that are dissing are actually right down the street from each other. It's crazy, man. Which is true. The Flyboys actually represent Scribner Street in the south side of Stockton. And EBK represent Nightingale, which is, like I told you, right down the street. Many people believe the beef started because uh, EBK was a relatively newer gang, which, you know, Flyboys is too. They started in 2012. So, yeah, like I just said, a lot of these gangs is fairly new. I was out in Stockton since, what, 2000. 2005 you smell what I'm saying no 2005 2006 so I was out there before a lot of this shit even motherfucking started so when a lot of this shit started and you're hearing about these stories and you're hearing about these players and like a lot of these people you really personally know it's like from the outside looking in at least I was tripping like damn niggas used to be cool once upon a time how the, how the fuck did all this happen but I want to see if he's about to get into a shit like I said I'm not from Stockton I don't have no politics there I just know what's going on with the going on. But they were saying that EBK was trying to, like, basically claim turf in South Stockton when, uh, you know, they didn't like that because it was a newer gang. And, you know, they say that the Flyboys didn't like the fact that there was, you know, other people from other parts of the city coming over, you know, claiming EBK, uh, which is, you know, in the South Side. And, you know, they're not even from the South Side. So that was a big issue with the Flyboys. They started out dissing each other in their music and stuff like that. It wasn't really serious, but things would soon turn deadly. And also, 2023 let me, EBK. Let me say this uh, to a lot of people. This is some new shit because you're just now hearing it on music. But to be real, because this shit was going on. This ain't no music beef, bro. First and foremost is becoming that because it's a lot of niggas that starting to rap. But this is not no music beef. I really need niggas to understand that. Just like that Lavish D and that Mozzie shit, that is not no music shit. That is some real street shit, bro. Daybo would get out of jail causing all kind of mayhem, you know, dropping diss songs, diss records, um, you know, just acting a fool, man. Rival gang member Flyboy Marley B3s would take notice and start dropping diss songs back at EBK J-Bo. Around this time, both of their music videos were doing numbers because, you know, everybody loves What's a good Marley feud. Cut? But um, in reality, it was starting to get bloody in the streets. Tragically, March 4th, 2023, Stockton, California artist Jay Black, which was a fly. I fucked with Jay Black. I fucked with him, fucked with his people, fucked with his music. When Cud died and Sloby died, and it's, it's a lot of people, like he said, it's a lot of bloodshed behind this shit. Really made me, like, fall back into the realization, Cud, like, music ain't music no more, bruh. Music ain't music no more, my nigga. And I, I want to get back to the essence of that shit and away from the dumb shit. Because there's too much talent and too much money to be made. And a lot of niggas is using they losing their lives at a young age, bro. Boy was gunned down 
at the store on the south side in Stockton. Rest in peace, man. Um, people say that, you know, j has something to do with it. We don't know. Everybody who's down for the crime is innocent, so proven guilty. But um, there's two EBK affiliates that are down for the crime. Tragically, another Flyboy member named FAD will be gunned down a few months later. A lot crazy. of people say because j got the money down, he had a lot to do with both crimes. Once he started gaining a little buzz, Marley B from the Flyboys would go down for a gun charge, and so would EBK j That's why. The only All difference right. is j had right. money to bail out. As of 2024, both of the main players from both sides are in jail, and they're scheduled to be released soon. I can't see this beef dying down anytime soon afraid, since there's dude. two bodies from one side and none from the other. Uh, we'll keep you guys updated. Like I said, everybody who was implicated in this video is innocent until proven guilty. Thank you for watching Hood Stories. We'll see you next time. Peace. All right, so Cub, Cub did a cool little um, cool rendition short story version of Phonak. Uh, free Marley, free j -Bo, free every fucking body. Cub, I, I really, really wish we could keep politics outside of music. Cause I said it before and I said it again. I'm not saying be on some kumbaya, peace to every fucking body. Let's hold hands and sing we are the world type shit. That ain't, that ain't, that ain't what I'm saying at all. What I'm getting at is because you correct your shit. But let's keep it dissing out and get to the bad. Everybody got the same fucking goals in mind. We just got different ways and different roles on taking them. Let's get to the bad. Fuck the dissing. There's so many ideas I got, but we're going to speak on that later. Get in the comment box, like, subscribe to the YouTube channel, Mike. Tell a friend, uh, tell a friend, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You rocking with uh, Hood's stories, we're going to have to tap in and cut a little bit more. I see he new to the shit. Definitely subscribe to Bro Channel too. LB, force the deal, and I'm gone. 200. If murder makes me rich